Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and the second part of this experiment where we are looking at what would happen if you had the best player of all time, the best player possible in Football, football Manager 2021. So you can see we've already done in the first part five years with this player. Uh, he's been at Blythe Spartans for one season where he had a fantastic goal a game record which wasn't bad as a 14 year old. He then moved to Chelsea, uh, obviously as a youth contract youth player, uh, and since then he's been absolutely fantastic. His Premier League returns looking very healthy, uh, but overall as well, look at these goal figures at the bottom, 50, 46, uh, 44, and then 48. So getting up towards 50 goals uh, a season, he's got 150 and 188 league games, but with 90 assists as well. So his goal contributions off the charts, he's man of the match in pretty much every game he ever plays, which has got to be a sign of the greatest player of all time. And best yet, he's only 19 years old. But he's also had a bit of success in other competitions as well. So a couple of Community Shields, uh, three Carabao Cups, and a European Football Championship, as well as the under-21 version of that competition, a Club World Cup Championship, uh, European International League, and two Premier League titles, but he has yet to win the World Cup or Champions League, so today we'll be hoping that we get to see him uh, lift a few of those trophies uh, over the coming season. So before we do kick into this episode, please do make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've dropped a like on this video down below. If you guys are enjoying it, I'll do a third part, and in the third part I'll completely end uh, his career, um, not by ruining it, by just going forward until he decides uh, to retire. There's nothing malicious in that. And what we'll do today is go forward about 10 years into the future. So we'll already be 15 years through his career. I think that will take us, uh, well, it'll take him till he's 29. These players tend to go until their early 40s uh, when they're this good because obviously their physicals, mentals and technicals all stay the same. Uh, so we should have another 10 plus years in the final part, uh, just in case he hasn't won any competitions. The other thing I'm going to do is terminate his contract every five years. So he's coming up to the end of his time at Chelsea so we'll go two years into the future uh, see where he ends up next and if he hopefully does go to a different country I don't want him to stay in England the whole time so we'll have to see if he does move to another club but let's go forward now two years in time and see if he's still in England. So he had one more season at Chelsea before moving on obviously there's a chance uh, here for him to win that Champions League which is pretty much the only competition he hasn't won with Chelsea. They started out with a 3-0 win over Manchester United. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, I need to go back one more season. Uh, they started out in the Club World Cup Championship, actually, where they did beat Manchester United 5-2. He got a hat-trick in that semi-final. Uh, but in the final, they were beaten 2-0, so missed out on that Club World Championship. Uh, but through their league campaign, off to an excellent start. A uh, hat-trick against Newcastle. Uh, a little one or draw there, but he's doing really well. They're winning pretty much all games that they come up against. They haven't lost at this point. They're taking on big teams as well by Munich there. A little draw, 3-1 at home, Christian Pulisic with a hat-trick there. Uh, and beating teams like Arsenal around them, Manchester United being dispatched 3-2. Um, and then finally they suffer their first defeat against Everton of all clubs in the Carabao Cup semi-final first leg. Uh, in the return leg though, a 4-0 victory, taking them through comfortably. He scored the opening goal in that game. A couple of league defeats as well though, so three out of five lost there. But they get back to winning form, including in the Champions League. Unfortunately, he does lose the Carabao Cup final. Uh, he scores in the penalty shootout, but not enough to win it. Uh, getting through in the FA Cup Champions League, 3-0 over Manchester United as well, and then 2-0 at home, so an easy victory there. 3-1 as well in the uh, FA Cup. Uh, but a 3-1 defeat in the first Champions League, a 3-1 win, sorry, in the Champions League semi-final, followed up by a 1-0 defeat at home, but that's enough to get him to another Champions League final. He has been there a few times, and in that final, he has won, finally, the Champions League, scoring the equaliser in the game, all the action after over after 13 minutes as Callum hudson Adoy wins the game. Good to see two English players doing their job there. They also win the FA Cup as well, which is pretty good going. Uh, so that's two trophies in the bag and if we have a look at the Premier League table for that season they also won the Premier League so that's the proper treble achieved in his final season at Chelsea and that is not bad at all so if we have a quick look uh, at his new club he has moved to Inter Milan so obviously I terminated his contract and he's moved here on a free that final season at Chelsea doing really well 45 goals in all competitions but in Italy he's being arguably even more prolific 33 league goals uh, his highest total by one goal 
in top tier football after moving to Italy. 16 assists as well, man of the match in all but five league games. And if we have a look at his Inter Milan record as well, uh, going back to that first season, you can see started out with a 2 0 win, scoring both goals against Verona, one all drawing the uh, Milan derby as well, scoring in that game, which is uh, pretty good going. Uh, drawing with Liverpool as well, but I think Champions League might be a difficult push for them. Uh, I mean, Serie A could be a difficult push, but he is scoring, obviously, as we've seen already, a lot of goals. They lose in the Super Cup final. He scores here, but not enough. They were already 3-0 down, couldn't mount the comeback, uh, so missing out there against their rivals. But through in the Italian Cup, uh, scoring three goals over two legs against Verona. In the Champions League, though, knocked out by PSG. One all draw at home, followed by a 1-0 defeat away, and they are out. They also lose the Italian Cup final to Juventus and if we have a look at their Serie A position they did win it by quite quite some way in the end a 14 point gap at the top of the table so he's going to be at Inter Milan now for a few more years uh, so what I'll do is jump three years ahead to take us to the full five years we'll see how he's done at Inter in that time if he can win another Champions League trophy and then we'll have a look at how he's been doing with England over that five year stretch as well. So going through these next three years at he has been at Inter Milan. You can see they already did a really good uh, start to the next campaign. They're trying to defend their Serie A title but also win some of the other competitions up for grabs uh, and some big games along the way. Two goals against uh, Bayern there, beating Rangers 2-0 as well when he uh, ended up returning to Britain in that next Rangers game. A 0-0 draw, not quite good enough. Two will draw with Bayern Munich as well but I think that's enough to get them through the group stage. Their first defeat in the league against Napoli, a 2-0 defeat but through in the Italian Cup, scoring a lot of goals along the way. Winning the Super Cup for the first time as well. He scored the uh, first goal of the comeback against Juventus from 2-0 down to win it 3-2 in 90 minutes. is pretty impressive, uh, but through in the Italian Cup. 3-1 uh, victory away from home, giving them that slight away advantage to get through to the Italian Cup final. Also beating Manchester United 3-0. Two goals there for him to take them through. 1-0 away from home as well, helping out. But again, a French team defeating them in the Champions League out of the quarterfinal stage. A real blow there. Uh, and they've also lost the Italian Cup final. He scored in the penalty shootout, but it wasn't enough to get them through. They missed their last two penalties. Milan scored their last two. So despite his brace in that final, it's another piece of silverware they have failed to win. I'm pretty sure they've won the Serie A title on that. We will check back on that in just a minute. But quickly running through the next season, you can see there's a lot more defeats appearing here. Um, but they do win the Super Cup for another season, 2-1 over AC Milan, scoring both goals, uh, including the winner, uh, and then getting through in the Italian Cup before being beaten over two legs by Milan, so some revenge there. And also out of the Champions League by Man City, so not a great time that season. Uh, again, we'll check on the uh, league in a minute, but just running through this final season where they seem to hit a really good run of form here. Look at that run of victories in all competitions, including a 4-1 win over Barcelona. He scored a hat-trick there in a famous victory. That's a tough Champions League group, Manchester United in there as well. Uh, who are the other team? Uh, Jablonek, the other team. Uh, not a team I'm familiar with. But going through in the Italian Cup competitions, um, and then in the Champions League as well, a 4-1 aggregate win, uh, followed up by a 4-1 win again. 2-0 there, uh, and 2-1 in the return leg as well. So in the semi-finals, 2-1 defeat to Chelsea, his former team. Uh, not brilliant. Tammy Abraham also playing for them. Uh, so two former Chelsea players there and 1-0 back at Stamford Bridge, which means they miss out on the Champions League for yet another reason, season. But he does eventually win the Italian Cup with a 2-1 victory uh, away from home. He wasn't uh, on the goal-scoring sheet for that game, but it's a good final season there. And if we go and have a look at Giancaldo Jr. You can see he's now worth £100 million. He's on 550 grand a week as well. Contract for another four years. 98 caps, 108 goals. Easily England's record goal scorer at this point. Uh, we will check on his progress with England in just a minute, but you can see his time at uh, Inter has been fantastic. 35 in 37 that season. His best league return uh, in top flight football, but then 32 and 31. That season as well, 48 goals in all competitions, 42-42. After that, now at 300 goals in 373 league games. But if we look at this biography, actually we won't do that because we haven't yet seen how he's done uh, for England. So if we go and have a look at his time at England next, you can see everything else about him still 
uh, fantastic. Nothing has changed. But if we go and have a look at the England senior squad schedule over the last five years, going back to 2025 here, they obviously won the International League last time we checked in with that 2-0 win over Spain. He's their chief goal scorer in a lot of these victories, but not necessarily getting a big haul in the games against the Minnows. So he's not inflating uh, his record with England, but a 5-0 win over Syria in the opening game of the World Cup. Hat-trick there, followed up by an 8-0 win, a second hat-trick against Morocco. Uh, a 4-0 win, so that's seven goals in three games. Threw on penalties against the USA, which is a little bit scary. Uh, and then against Brazil in the quarterfinal, he gave England the lead. João Pedro with the equaliser, and in the 96th minute, England hearts broken in the World Cup uh, quarterfinal by Vinicius Jr., uh, knocking England out in the United States. So, uh, disappointment there. The following season, though, 100% uh, record in the various games that they were in. Some big uh, goal-scoring uh, matches as well. Hat-trick there against Liechtenstein. And then in the European Championship, which, of course, he has already won, they start off with a 3-1 win over Wales, uh, lose 3-1 to the Ukraine, which is a shock, but then beat Denmark 3-1 as well. 1-0 uh, against Belgium, Callum Hudson-Odoi with the goal there. Uh, penalties, getting them through against Portugal. Now, he is playing here, but he's not scoring goals in open play, which is strange. In the semi-final stage, though, he gets two as they beat Norway 3-0, and in the final against Holland, he gets an England hat-trick. England players scoring hat-tricks in finals of international tournaments is a bit of a theme, and he's done it there. 3-1, uh, coming from 1-0 down to score the hat-trick to give them the European Championship, their second consecutive European Championship, I believe. Uh, so a fantastic performance, uh, individual performance by him to do that. They also win the European International League, being, winning in the semi-final 2-0, then beating Portugal 1-0 in extra time. Uh, and then another World Cup campaign, 5-0 win over the Ivory Coast, two goals in that game, 7-0 over Thailand, and he gets a double hat-trick in the World Cup there. Uh, second round, he gets another double hat-trick. Back-to-back double hat-tricks in the World Cup is pretty impressive. 5-0 against Iceland, so he gets four goals there as well. How many does that take him up to? That's 14... That's 18 goals in his first four games of the World Cup. Italy, 6-1. He gets another hat-trick, 17 goals. But then they lose 3-0 to France in the semi-final. A real shame. And against Holland, he gets another hat-trick. Uh, so that World Cup was pretty amazing. 24 goals to finish as a World Cup top scorer. Kylian Mbappe with 10 would be the World Cup top scorer year after year after year. Actually won by Turkey that year. Which is weird that Turkey have won that. Um, they're not even got any players in the top of the rankings. They had the most clean sheets, so that's how they've done it. But Turkey, the world champions, which is unusual when an England striker has just scored 24 goals. So he's clearly the uh, World Cup record goal scorer now at this point, which isn't bad, given that he is, uh, how old now? 24 years old. 24 goals at the World Cup, that's uh, pretty impressive. But if we do just check in on that biography, you could pause the screen if you want to look at this in a little bit more detail, might be quite hard to read. Uh, but you can see now all those English uh, competitions. He's got uh, two Italian Super Cups, uh, the Italian Cup, one Champions League, which is a bit of a shame, but two European Championships with England. Club World Championship, two European International Leagues, so that's four major trophies with England at this point. Three Serie A titles as well, uh, and of course he is winning the European Golden Boy Award. He won that five years in a row while he was at Chelsea, uh, and then I think he probably became a little bit too old to win the competition, but best player in Europe, he has been every single year, European Golden Shoe, uh, no surprise, that's for Europe. Uh, of course, if we have a look at the World Player of the Year, he's been that every single season since he joined Chelsea. Um, where's the Ballon d'Or? That's what we really care about. Uh, there it is, World Golden Ball. Uh, he's won that every year as well, so no surprise there. He's always going to win those uh, awards every single year, along with everything else. World Cup Golden Boots in there, um, lots and lots of things. Imagine his trophy cabinet 
at this point. So many individual awards put in there. But what we're going to do next time is we're going to see out the rest of... Oh, no, we're going to go five years ahead again. Sorry, I nearly shortchanged you there. We're going to go five more years ahead and see at the age of 29 if he can finally win that World Cup. Um, that would have been a very long next episode if I'd forgotten to go five more years ahead here. So let's jump forward. We'll run through this really, really quickly because we get the, get the theme of the episode now and just see if he's won those extra trophies that we're looking for. So in his final season at Inter Milan before I terminated his contract, he had another good run through the various competitions. Another Italian Super Cup in the bag. Uh, knocked out by Barcelona there in the Champions League and by Juventus in the Italian Cup uh, quarterfinal. You'll see that they're called Zebra again. I think Football Manager have updated the various files they do that with every major update which means you have to keep redoing the real name fix which is a bit of a pain uh, i will get around to that at some point but if we do have a quick look at the syria title it is final season at the club which is this one here they failed to win the syria title juventus take and get seven points clear so a bit of a sad way to end his time at the club but if we have a look at where he is now he's gone to liverpool back in the premier league Trying to make Liverpool back into the team they were under Jurgen Klopp. And you can see he's got a fantastic goal scoring record as well. So if we check in on this Liverpool uh, senior squad schedule uh, since he's joined, which this was his first season. Uh, he's won the Friendly Cup final, which is nice. Don't know if that really counts. Uh, but going through the various competitions here, you can see they're having a fantastic record of it. Um, I don't, did they manage to get through in the Carabao Cup or were they knocked out? They were knocked out 2-0 by Bristol City. But they do manage to get through uh, in the first round. They managed to win the FA Cup quarterfinal against his former team Chelsea as well. 3-0, four games against Man City here. 3-0 uh, at home in the Champions League quarterfinal. 4-1 at home in the Premier League. 3-1 away from home. And then 2-1 in at the FA Cup semi-final. Man City fans having a terrible time there against Liverpool. Uh, they do manage to make it into the semi-finals where they get past Bayern Munich 3-1 on aggregate. He scores both goals, including the winner in extra time uh, at home at Anfield. But they lose the FA Cup final to Spurs 2-1 and they lose the Champions League final 1-0 to Barcelona. So a real shame there. The following season, though, you can see they're blitzing the Premier League at the moment. Um, and in the Champions League semi-finals, they lost 2-1 to Hertha Berlin, which is a shock. But 3-0 at home takes them through. They win the FA Cup final against Newcastle 1-0. And then they win the Champions League. He scores the equaliser, scores the opening penalty. That's a great record of their players there hitting the back of the net. And they lift the trophy at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. The Club World Championship was up next. But for some reason, they didn't make it out their group. What's that about? Um... I don't know. We've gone the wrong way. Let me go back. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Where are we? There we are. So, yeah, 4-2 defeat to Napoli. I mean, they didn't make it out their group. Uh, they also lost the Community Shield, but won the European Super Cup. So that's another trophy in the bag. Um, Champions League, 2-0 defeat to his old team, Inter Milan. But they turn it around 4-1. He scores twice to get through. Out in the fifth round, the FA Cup. So it's about the Champions League. 2-1 at home, 2-0 away against Real Madrid. They get through against Man City, 3-0, scoring twice there. And in the Champions League, they win again, 1-0, Mohamed Sharma with the goal. So he's now a three-time Champions League winner, another Super Cup, and running through to another Champions League final against Barcelona again, and this time it's a defeat. But look at these past winners uh, here. It was Barcelona-Liverpool, Liverpool-Man City, Liverpool-Barcelona, Barcelona-Liverpool. That is quite a record. Liverpool or Barcelona have been in every final going back nearly 10 years. I think that's eight seasons that Liverpool and or Barcelona have been in the final. Uh, and Liverpool there winning quite a few of them too with Giancaldo Jr. at the club. So he's got two more Champions League medals in the bag. If we go and have a look at the England team over this period and just see if he's managed to finally win that World Cup. Starting out where we left off last time, which was the 2031 season. A great European Championship qualifying campaign. Obviously, after a third consecutive European Championship, England, uh, I don't think he's going to match his 24 goals here that he got in the World Cup. But he is scoring every other game. 1-0 uh, over Scotland. 4-2 against Spain. He gets a hat-trick there to take them through, even with 10 men. Uh, he carries England to the final, where against Germany, it's heartbreak. He gave them the lead 2-0. 
uh, lead. But then in the second half, they came back from 2-1 down to win it in the 93rd minute, Germany, uh, and get through uh, as champions. Then in the World Cup qualifying campaign, absolutely smashing it. But in the World Cup, as usual, he scores a lot of goals. Hat-trick, hat-trick, one goal, and then hat-trick. Uh, so three hat-tricks, not enough. They go out to Germany on penalties, of course. The Germans win on penalties. Uh, so unfortunately missing out on another World Cup. But he does have an international league. And they beat Germany on penalties there, scoring every single penalty. So uh, practice clearly paying off for them as they win the penalty shootout. Uh, and take another Europe, uh, international league in Europe. So the World Cup still to come, um, or another World Cup still to come, a few more to come, where hopefully he will win uh, that competition and become an absolute England legend. But if we just have a quick look at that biography again, his career stats are fantastic. The biography, though, getting longer and longer every year. He's won a lot of Premier Leagues now, five Premier League titles, three Champions League titles with two different teams. And a lot more to come. He's still only 29 years old. That England goal-scoring record out of control. On less money at Liverpool than he was when he was at Inter. But I'm sure that will go up. But if you did enjoy this experiment and you'd like to see a final part of it, do drop a like down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. But until next time, see ya.